Ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. I am delighted to address this conference this morning, which brings together stakeholders from public and private sectors to share experience and learn best practices on green hydrogen under the theme Namibia towards a green hydrogen hub in Africa. I was unfortunately unable to be with you yesterday due to cabinet duties. This conference comes at a most opportune time for Namibia as it seeks to establish itself as a major player in global green hydrogen markets. According to the Global Opportunity Analysis and Industry Forecast for 2021 to 2028, the global green hydrogen market size was valued at only 300 million in 2020, but is projected to reach 9.8 billion US dollars by 2028. In terms of the Harambe Prosperity Plan 2, green hydrogen is said to be a core pillar in Namibia's economic and developmental agenda, offering potential for the country to develop a sustainable green hydrogen industrial base that will drive socioeconomic growth, create employment, and emerge as a sustainable energy supply for Namibia, Southern Africa, and beyond. Our government thus committed itself to put in place a competitive and transparent process for the development of the Green Hydrogen Project, which is designed to maximize the national benefit and lay the foundation for long-term participation in a growing green hydrogen and ammonia market. Namibia took the first step to position itself at the forefront of the global aspirations for green hydrogen production in 2021 by setting in motion plans in the Southern Corridor Development Initiative. The aim is to develop a major integrated high-capacity hydrogen project valued at 9.4 billion US dollars. The project is expected to eventually produce 300,000 tons of raw hydrogen annually for the domestic, regional, and international markets. It is estimated that this landmark project will create 15,000 direct jobs in the four years of integrated construction and 3,000 direct jobs during the first two phases, while contributing to other efforts to promote economic stability. Namibia is looking at developing a full-scale green hydrogen industry with upstream and downstream opportunities for Namibia's private sector along the value chain. Upstream opportunities exist in areas such as wind turbines and solar panels assembly, IT services, consulting and water provision, while downstream prospects range from the production of fertilizers, green ammonia, green zinc, aviation and dams, as well as the construction of ports and rail networks. This conference is therefore of vital importance as Namibia seeks to realize the full potential of the sector and identify areas for local participation and value addition in order for the country to take full advantage of such opportunities, create jobs, and improve the socio-economic welfare of Namibia's people. In ensuring that Namibia is ready to develop its green hydrogen industry and its human resources capabilities, the government has signed an agreement with the German government to provide support in this endeavor, as we have heard. The German government availed 40 million euro that will be used to develop the Namibia Green Hydrogen Strategy and to fund scholarship programs that is, that is beside the cooperation that we are pursuing with other development partners, as we have heard. The 30 million euro, uh, of the 30 million euro, which uh, is equivalent to about uh, 500 million Namibian dollars, uh, which is made available by German government, is being utilized to fund pilot projects in the country. And the recipients of this funding were announced yesterday morning at this conference. I understand. I was unable to follow because I was at cabinet. 
I want to congratulate all the recipients of this grant as they have now become part of the journey to building the hydrogen industry in Namibia. I hope that some of them are still here today. Namibia will require both professional skills and vocational skills. It is thus vital that the higher education, academic and vocational training institutions understand the industry's value chain. This understanding will ensure that Namibia is prepared for the development and success of this industry. So that to this, the Namibian Ports Authority has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Port of Rotterdam. The agreement enables collaboration in various areas of mutual interest with a targeted emphasis on facilitating trade in the flow of green hydrogen supply chains from Namibia to Rotterdam to build capacity to transport the clean ammonia once the hydrogen production is underway. With regard to the regulatory framework, Namibia is currently in the process of developing its national green hydrogen strategy. Given the complexities of developing a synthetic fuel industry, the national hydrogen strategy will ensure overall policy direction and cohesion between new policies needed for this industry as well as existing legislative framework. Director of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to briefly highlight the socio-economic impact this new green hydrogen sector will bring to Namibia. It will bring thousands of people into the formal economy by providing them and their family with a steady income. As I stated earlier, and as I'm sure you have heard already, about 18,000 direct and indirect jobs are expected to be provided by this industry in the first four years of the project. Thousand bigger businesses upstream and downstream of this new sector will benefit from new income and business opportunities. Further, Namibia has a chance to move away from being a net electricity importer uh, where, where we import about 70% of our energy to produce an energy surplus. Through this, it will also be possible to bring electricity to all corners of the country, enabling local communities to become part of this targeting development. Looking at the economy at large, the new green hydrogen sector will enable us to attain our ambitious goals to move from an emerging and developing country to an economy which is recognized globally. We will be able to provide the new energy the world needs, especially that there is a move from fossil fuels towards a decarbonized future. I therefore want to conclude by thanking the organizers of this conference for bringing together key role players in the energy and development spaces to discuss issues around investment opportunities, financing, markets, infrastructure, and identify the required skills, employment creation, as well as socio-economic participation and development of local communities in the green hydrogen industry. I also want to thank the sponsors for their co-sponsorship of this conference and the speakers for agreeing to share their expertise and experiences with us. This is a landmark event on Namibia's roadmap towards becoming a green hydrogen champion. I urge all participants to make use of this opportunity to tap from local and international experience. And I trust that the deliberations at this event will help Namibia to position herself to benefit from the large investments expected to flow into this sector. I wish you fruitful.